I found five foreign football players who all speak amazing English. Can you tell me where they're from just by listening to their accents? I started doing all these things then also as a team and as a club we weren't performing in the same way that we were before. So obviously we're going for the league again, we're going for the cup and hopefully the Champions League we can do better. I mean, we concede an early goal but it's a silly goal to concede from, from a counter-attack. 99. 99. So yeah, that last year, I remember my dad was still playing, he was playing for Carville Stender. Yesterday I make one tackle and all everybody speak about is this tackle, nobody speaks about... Uh... I started doing all these things then. So obviously we're going for the league again, we're going for the cup. We can see an early goal, but... 99. 99. So yeah, that last year. Yesterday I make one tackle and all everybody speak about is Oh my god, their pronunciation is so good and their accents are spot on. But how do they do it? In this video, I'm going to show you how these five non-native speakers sound like they're from here. Let's start with Hector Bellerin. He was born in Barcelona, but moved to London to play for Arsenal in 2011. Now his pronunciation is unbelievable. It's like, for me, playing video games, yeah, I play every now and then, but I can't do that every day. Now what I love about his accent is that he sounds like he's from London. He kind of has a bit of a multicultural London English twang, MLE as we also call it. Now this is the accent of the young multi-ethnic citizens in London. So it's very young, it's very vibrant, and that's exactly what I hear in Hector Bellerin's accent. So there's lots of little features, let's have a look. First of all, that glottal T, he uses it perfectly, right? Better. For me, that's a way of like becoming a better person and then at the same time becoming a better athlete or a better whatever I'm gonna be in the future. So he says started. When I started doing all these things. He says better. For me, that's a way of like becoming a better person. And, and he uses it a few other times. Now this is a common feature and makes someone sound super British when they use it. Because it's a sound that you'll probably only hear in the UK. But the way that I can tell that he's got a bit of an MLE twang to his accent is the sort of wide articulation of the I sound. So on like and time, it's like and time. It's slightly wider, right? And I articulate that slightly further back in my mouth. Like and time. And I think that's what Hector Bellerin does as well. And uh, it was really difficult at the beginning and I feel like at so many times. And he would have just picked that up from the people that he was hanging around with in London, right? So whether it's other young players or friends that he's made in and around London, people his age, in their 20s, yeah, some of them, if they're from London, they're gonna speak with this MLE accent. So that's obviously where he's got it from, and it's so distinctive, it's, it's really impressive. He also drops the G on beginning, which is another feature of MLE. And uh, it was really difficult at the beginning. Now, I'm not just looking at his accent, I also wanna look at his pronunciation, because you can have any accent, it doesn't matter, speak with whatever accent you want, but the pronunciation is really important. How clear are you when you're speaking? And Hector Bellerin is super clear. I can understand everything he's saying, of course. Um, and that's because he's doing lots of interesting things. One of them is connected speech, in particular, linking. Also, as a team and as a club, we weren't performing in the same way that we were before, you know? So here, as a team and as a club. So, as a team. So he's using linking and weak forms. So when we have a word that ends in a consonant, like as, as, that z sound, and the next word begins with a vowel, you take that consonant sound over to the vowel. So it's as, as, not as, a, uh, that's, there's too much of a gap there. You link them together, as, a, as a team, as a club. Or so. As a team and as a club. Now you notice there the weak form on a. Uh, so it's not as a team. We're turning that a into a weak form because it's because it's not that important to the meaning. So we're just gonna say as a team, as a club. He also does it with that's it. Because it goes against the stereotype, yeah. right? That's it, that's it. So that's ends with a s sound. There's that consonant. And it, well, i, that's the vowel. He's taking the s sound over and linking it to it. So it's that's 
sit. Because it goes against the stereotype, yeah. right? That's it. That's it. Now this helps him to sound more fluent and incorporating connected speech into your English is a great way to sound more fluent. Now as it happens, I've got a pronunciation course that goes in depth into connected speech as well as stress and intonation, vowels, consonants, everything you need to know about British English. There's a short course, there's the complete course, and then there's a complete course plus private coaching with me. The link is in the description below or you can go to my website eatsleepdreamenglish.com. Now one thing that I love about Hector Bellerin's pronunciation is that he uses little tricks to say words that are quite difficult but in an easier way. The best example of this is clothes. A guy is spending 30 minutes on social media or talking about clothes because he likes clothes. So. Now I know a lot of people have a difficulty with this word clothes clothes it has that voiced th sound now i've often taught my students to kind of if you're struggling with that word just to forget it and say close close like close the door clothes close clothes close clothes close close clothes which was which i don't know because when you're saying it quite quickly they sound the same but close like close the door that's really much easier to say and that's exactly what Hector Bellerin does he just says close a guy is spending 30 minutes on social media or talking about clothes because he likes clothes so. you can't really tell when you're listening to him speaking uh, fluently he could be saying clothes or clothes I, I don't know but it's easier for him very smart Hector very smart let's move on to Bradford goalkeeper David Rea now he was also born in Barcelona but moved as a young boy to Blackburn, which is a town in Lancashire. Now the interesting thing is here, he doesn't have that London influence that Hector Bellerin had. He of course has a Blackburn influence in his accent. So he's using sounds like oh instead of ah. Let's hear some examples. The fans were brilliant from, from the start, even from the warm-up, the cheering us up. Um, we had to do it for, for ourselves, for the staff, for the fans, for the family, and we've done it. All right, so you've got up, and you've got done, right? This guy is from Barcelona, but he sounds like he's from Blackburn. How cool is that? Now he also incorporates connected speech into his English to sound more fluent. Let's have a listen. We'll stick to it and it paid off. Did you hear that? Paid off. So paid ends with a D sound and off starts with a vowel. So paid off, paid off. And so you're linking those two words together and therefore sounding more fluent. We'll stick to it. And he paid off. All right, let's move on to Serge Gnabry, who is a German football player, but also spent some time in London playing for Arsenal. I was about four years old when four I really old. started going to a club. Okay, wow. He really, really, really does sound like he's speaking with MLE. This young, multi-ethnic accent from London. I mean, hot dogs, I was like, they're better than meat hot dogs. You reckon? You, I'm not gonna lie. So there's a lot of things going on here. Again, he's using that wide sound for like, right? And he's dropping the T's on better. Okay, so, some features already. I mean, hot dogs, I was like, they're better than meat hot dogs. You reckon? You, I'm not gonna lie. And he also uses little phrases that speakers of MLE would use, like, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm telling the truth, but you might just put it at the end of a sentence, You're like, you can get hot dogs, you can get burgers, I'm not gonna lie, like, it's just a way of ending the sentence, it doesn't have much meaning, but I guess it could mean, like, I'm being serious. So I'm not really like, there, no, 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 I'm there. No. You're making me die, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me die, bro. You're making me die, bro. So die, that wide I sound that we heard on like and time. You're making me die, bro. <laughs> um, also bro, right? Bro is a word that you would hear from young speakers here in London. Bro, calling each other bro. Yes, bro. Like, yes, mate. Uh, fam as well as another one, but bro definitely used here a lot. So I'm not really like, there. No, 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 no. I'm there. You're making me die, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Another feature that you'll get in MLE is instead of using the voiced th sound, you'll get d. So he says do instead of though. I beat him though. I beat him though. One, beat him? one on one, I beat him. But that instead of that. Uh, people don't know about that stuff here. So and he says those instead of those. Um, Skepta okay. like his album. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, those type of. Okay, let's move on to Romelu Lukaku, who is from Belgium but has played in England for a long time. Now his accent. It's kind of Americanized. Let's have a listen. 
I saw my mom adding water to the milk. And it was the same bowl of the day before. Okay, did you hear? Mom and water. Water. So he's using those American sounds that the R on mom and water. Water. That kind of a D sound on, on the T there. Water. Water. I saw my mom adding water to the milk. And it was the same bowl of the day before. Fascinating. I wonder why that is, whether he's got a more internationalized accent. I mean, he's been in Britain for a long time, but maybe because of cultural influences, TV shows, films, he's picked up a slightly American accent. And our last football player is Azmir Begovic, the Bosnian goalkeeper that's played in England for a long time. Now, he spent a few years as a child in Canada, so you can hear that in his accent. Uh, to be part of such an illustrious club is, is kind of exciting, and putting that shirt on will be uh, pretty special. Well, my message to Chelsea fans is that I can uh, promise to uh, work hard and... We've got on, we've got the pronounced R sound on hard. And his trick to sound more fluent is to use contractions. Uh, to be part of such an illustrious club is, is kind of exciting and putting that shirt on will be uh, pretty special. So not it is going to be, that would take forever to say. He says, it's going to be. It's going to be a much easier way to say it and therefore he can sound more fluent. So as you can see, these non-native football players have incorporated connected speech to make themselves sound more fluent. And they've picked up pronunciation features from different accents to sound like they're from here. But the most important thing is they sound so clear, don't they? They're so easy to listen to. You can understand everything they're saying and that's the trick. So guys, if you want to improve your pronunciation and speak with clarity and confidence, go check out my pronunciation online course and I can help you to improve your pronunciation. The link is in the description below or you can go to my website eatsleepdreamenglish.com. If you want to learn more about British English accents, click on this video here and if you want to learn more about vocabulary, click here and I'll see you in the next video.